Hi, I'm Kate Allison. I wanted to bring you all a couple of words of wisdom on a Wednesday from my office here in Davidson, North Carolina. Something I've been thinking about in my own personal practice and in my work with clients is this idea of stagnation and growth. Right now in North Carolina, we've had weeks on weeks of rain, and so the water is pooling. There's not a lot of places for it to go unless there's a flow, which makes me start to think of the idea of a cross, right? A sense of a vertical line and a horizontal line. If we only stay on the horizontal line, looking at things from our birth point to our end point, the past and the future, it can feel like we're yo-yoing or getting like a slingshot into the past or into our anxiety or worries about the future, constantly bouncing back and forth. But if we can add in another dimension, if we can rise above it, going vertical, we might have a different perspective. On the same line, we might be able to drop deeper, deeper into our personal practice, deeper into the moment. And that adds a depth of our current experience. The access point to that is your breath. The next inhale and exhale that you take is the present moment. The present moment can be the intersection of those two lines, our awareness, the depth of the moment, and an awareness of where we've been and where we're going. So you might start to think about that in your own life. If you're only moving in an awareness of what has happened in the past or where you're going in the future, you may find that you're slingshotting between worries about the past or worries about the future. Rising above it allows us to be in a sense of response where we can respond to what's going on from a different perspective rather than simply reacting the same energy over and over like a slingshot. Reaction doesn't always feel very good. It's simply amplifying the energy that we're in. But if we can respond, if we can rise above using that vertical line, it may give you a different perspective. So today in your own life, maybe you adopt a sense of curiosity about what's going on. Simply rise above the situation at hand and notice how you could respond. On that same line, you could take a deep breath really notice what you're feeling in your body. Go deeper into the present moment and notice what cues it's giving you so that again, you can be in the energy of response. Response is capable and possible in that present moment at that middle meeting ground between all of our past, all of our future, and an awareness of it. So check it out today, see how it works for you, and let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I hope you have a lovely rest of the week, and I hope this was helpful in some way to you.